What's up, family? How you doing? It's your boy, Black Innovator. Yeah, I'm traveling to see my son in Connecticut. Uh, and I wanted to run a few things by you. Uh, it's some things I've been doing for over the years to help me cope with traveling. Uh, some of y'all, well, I guess most of y'all don't know, uh, I was injured during Desert Storm, during Desert Storm many, many years ago. And as a result, you know, uh, I suffered from back injury and other things. So therefore, I got to do some things to kind of make, make the trip comfortable. So I want to share with you some tips that I do while traveling to make the trip more, you know, more comfortable for me. So uh, I'm going to just share this with you real quick. It's going to be a short video. Uh, just keep in mind this, this right here, this little ball right here. This is the, this is a little magic pill for me. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to share these tricks with you. Uh, you, uh, you all know the obvious, you know, um, pretty much with the, the, the pillow and stuff like that to help you relax and stretch during the travel. But there are some other things that, basically pretty much how to stretch. Uh, I went to school for occupational therapy uh, in Chicago State, Chicago State University, plus many, many 20 plus years of physical therapy, occupational therapy, vocational rehab, and all that type of stuff. So, um, yeah, I just want to share some of these things with you to help you travel and help you relax. All right, this is the blue pill I was talking about. It's a racquetball. A uh, tennis ball can work too, but a racquetball by it being softer, it's better, smaller. All right, you can put it behind you and just simply rock and roll side to side with it once it's behind you just simply sway side to side in the area and you can also take it and work the ball as a massager itself on your neck back neck area I mean it feels almost like a masseuse so I definitely recommend giving you a racquetball alright what you want to do if you can you want to take your leg and put it across and just stretch it get that nice little stretch all right for those on the outside seat what you do is take your leg and stretch it back just pull it back you want this stretch your your your, 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 um, your ligaments in your knee and your thigh uh, now for those who are not on the outside seat or even inside whatever you can do this simply take one leg Pull it up, just you know, put it in the chair, and just kind of just stretch it, let it sit for a while, you know, to stretch your thigh and your knee, this, this stretches quite a bit. Just take that one leg, pull it back, just sit there for a while and stretch it. You can do this continuously. You'd be amazed at how much, how much the better you feel. If possible, I take everything that's underneath the front, my luggage, and take it out and just move it, stretch, just extend my legs and then start to rotate my ankles. Oh my God, when you're starting to rotate those ankle ligaments and just take them and twist it in any way you can, it loosens up the ligaments in your ankles and you you would not believe the level of comfort that comes after you've, you've doing this little exercise just simply take your your knees and stretch you know extend your knees and your foot as far underneath as possible and just simply rotate your ankles all right here's another simple exercise you can do for your upper for your neck just stretch your neck turn your head sideways rotate 360 degrees now you what you want to do too you can take your other hand and pull on it take one hand and pull on it um, I'm trying to hold the camera. Yeah, uh, another thing you can do is, you know, when you're there on your seat, you know, I probably can't get a good, too good of a, I'm recording myself, so you, you want to, you know, when you that, just lean forward, just lean forward and stretch that lower back. Make sure you stretch that lower back. Lean forward, 
as much as you could, for as long as you could, and uh, get that lower back loosened up, you know. And then as well as, as with me, what I do is as soon as the flight is over, they tell me I can unbuckle my seat. First thing I do, I jump up like, like a jackrabbit, jump straight up, and I start to stretch it. I start stretching. I start, you know, doing calisthenics and sideways and because you want to get your luggage and before you know it, you want to be back on the, on the trail again, hauling it to the next destination. So these are just some helpful tips. If you want to relax and enjoy your travel, the country is back open again and everybody's traveling. And, and I really don't care for traveling too much. I guess I did enough for Uncle Sam. But still, you know, when you just don't want necessary things you got to do, why not do it comfortably? So this is what I want to share with you. I uh, hope you had a time to enjoy. Uh, and uh, one more thing, most of uh, another thing I learned was just recently. I've been doing most of the stuff over the years, but I just learned recently this with the air, how to utilize the air, because you know in the air, you know we in the airport. Obviously, we have to keep a mask on, but we want to. This this little air thing is it's, it's a lifesaver because. You know, you take this and you put it directly in your face. And you blow the air directly in your face. It really, really helps. I can't tell you how much it helps. So, um, these are just some of the stretching tips I want to give you to help you out. Uh, like I say, anything I can do to help help my people, you know, help, help my fellow man out. That's what, that's what I'm for. So, uh, hope you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Share it. And look forward to talking to you again. God bless.